Earlier, when I showed you how to use the Marquee tool by clicking and dragging out a boundary, you may have noticed that it doesn't really have any defining border. That's to say, no stroke or outline. We can easily change that. But before we get to that, let me show you a practical use for the marquees. Not only can you select something in a rectangular fashion, you can even use it to create artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect this and show you by going to my layers. And I'm actually going to delete that layer I created earlier and create a new one on top of it. I'm going to create a couple of shapes on this layer to use as an art effect. So with my rectangular marquee selected, I'll click and drag out a shape. This time though, I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and add to that selection and just click on other parts of my image. Now I have a color in this foreground swatch. So I'm going to click on my eyedropper tool, click on this light area up here, then go to edit, fill, use foreground color, and click OK. Now I'll press Command or Control D to deselect that, go back to my layers, and what I'll do is I'll choose a different blend mode, such as screen. And I'll drop the opacity down. And now I have some kind of cool add that, you know, tells people to use corn to fuel their cars. Now, of course, I wouldn't do that just yet because I think if I put this in my car, it would be bad. So, of course, we have to wait till the technology is completely available. But as you can see, you can add some text here and all kinds of cool stuff. So don't just think of this as a tool to select things, but also to create artwork. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to step back a couple of steps by going to Edit, Step Backwards, Edit, Step Backward, and Edit, Step Backward until I get that border again the little marching ants. I'm going to change this color here in this foreground swatch by clicking on it one time. And I'm going to go to a pretty dark green. Click OK. Now I'm going to show you how to add a stroke around this shape. We'll go back to our edit menu. We'll choose stroke this time, which is under fill. And we can choose to add a pixel with here. So I'm going to make this five pixels. And as you see, my color is there, but I can click here if I want to to get a different one. And I can say to put this stroke on the center, which means that some of it will be outside this marching ant area and some will be inside. So 2.5 pixels will be in and 2.5 will be out. Or I can say put the whole stroke on the inside, which would be all five points from the line in or on the outside, which will put this stroke from the line out. I'll keep it at center for now and click OK. Once again, I'll press Command and Control D to deselect. And now we have this nice green border around this shape. I'll go back to my layers, I'll put it back on screen, and I'll drop the opacity down. And you can even try different variations of the blend modes to try to get something really cool. And that is how you can use the marquee in conjunction with strokes to create artwork in your images.